Hi, Assalamualaikum Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Today, for this video we will learn about the disposal of asset either we get a gain or loss on the disposal so remember that what we have learned about depreciation accumulated depreciation and, and then the net book value of the asset all of these three items are important to calculate the disposal of asset uh, we can get either a gain or loss on disposal so the gain or loss on disposal will somehow be reported in your statement of profit and loss uh, either under um, expenses or other income or gain okay so let us look at the first scenario or the first question okay okay now question number one a machine costing 10,000 ringgit was purchased in 2018 the depreciation rate of 20% been applied at, at a straight line basis the machine was sold at the second hand value of 7,500 at the end of 2020 determine the gain or loss on the disposal of the above asset okay we have a note here full year depreciation applied on the year of disposal okay in this case the disposal of an of the asset is being done in 2020 so if the full year depreciation applied on the year of disposal the year of disposal is in 2020 so we need to calculate the depreciation as well in the uh, in the year of 2020 okay let's go to excel okay so let me put the let's try the important information first so the cost of is it a machine yeah i think so the cost of a machine is okay we, i put here 10,000 ringgit and the depreciation is 20% 20% and the method is okay I just put SL also the jumps for um, straight line so take a look at the question okay machine 10,000 10, straight line basis okay this one bought in 2018 okay so purchase in 2018 and sold in 2020 the disposal price is 7500 okay because i need to get the information first before we begin our calculation all right so first of all we know that when we have 20 percent method straight line of course 20 percent five years but now when we purchase uh, in 2018 it should be 18 19 20 21 22 2022 but in 2020 I mean that 18 19 20 so in 2020 they dispose uh, we they dispose the machine at 7500 so I mean that we only calculate for three years because it says here just now full year depreciation applied on the year of disposal so on the year of disposal we still need to calculate the depreciation okay so in 2018 cost is 10,000 and then we have depreciation at 20% so just take 20% 
Hero. Okay. Oh, whoa. Sorry about that. Twenty percent. Times with negative one. So I get the a negative negative sign. So the net book value is okay, eight thousand for two thousand eighteen. Now for two thousand nineteen, we have another depreciation. So I just and paste over here. So I uh, ignore that because should be here at cost now because this is a straight line. So every year will be the same figure. Remember? Okay, now this okay, and then we get the net book value six thousand because from the eight thousand minus the depreciation we have six thousand the net book value. Okay, in year twenty twenty. In year 2020, we sold the machine, but the question asks you to calculate the depreciation. So we calculate the depreciation in 2020. Okay, and the depreciation. Okay, this is the formula. Of course, it's a straight line, and the depreciation will be the same every year. Okay. So the net book value in 2020 will be 4,000. Okay, let me put some cosmetics. I say cosmetics, just, just line. Okay. Uh -huh. Here. And here. Okay. And of course, we have also learned regarding the deep uh, accumulated depreciation. So for the first year, our accumulated will be 2000 because depreciation first year 2000, accumulated will also be 2000. As for the second year, the accumulated will be the last year depreciation plus with the current year depreciation. So the depreciation will be 4000 and the depreciation. Accumulated depreciation for the third year that is in 2020 will be the total from last year plus with the current year. So the, dep the accumulated depreciation is 6000. Okay, now in 2020, so this year, this is the year of that we are going to calculate. 2020, we sell. Uh, we dispose the machine at this price, 7,005. Okay, so let me do the, the simple T accounts. Okay, I just make it. All right. The disposal. Okay, disposal account. Okay, when you dispose the asset, the asset is always at the debit side. So when you dispose the asset, you should zero rise the asset account, meaning that you have to credit the asset. So before this, your asset is at debit side, the cost of the asset is 10,000. So should be debit disposal. and credit machine account so disposal will be uh, the disposal the machine is 10,000 so now before this the machine is at the debit side now you credit the machine so now 10 minus 10 is 0 so the disposal is 10,000 so the effect of that debit disposal over here should be uh, you should fill in the T account machine so 10,000 okay all right so the second part 
we have the accumulated depreciation account so at this moment the accumulated depreciation, depreciation account you have 6000 so accumulated depreciation account is at credit side so when you want to zero rise the, the accumulated depreciation you need to debit them so debit accumulated depreciation for the machine and your credit disposal so how much that you want to zero rise here six thousand so we take six thousand here and then the disposal will be six thousand as well so now we fill in the T account, credit disposal, so disposal credit, so we put it here, accumulated depreciation 6,000. Okay, so when you sell the machine, of course, it's either you sell it for cash or by check or you receive money straight go to the bank so you are selling at a price of disposal price 7005 okay so we just debit bank of course this 7005 is quite a lot of money so straight away you put it in the bank and credit disposal so how much 7005 and 7500 so we fill in so the way we go here okay so this is bank 7500 okay so all has been generalized everything has been put into the ledger so now we need to calculate is it a gain or loss okay to calculate either it's gain or loss so we look at the ledger over here so this is 10,000 this one is uh, 13,005 okay let me do this sum for you here is 13,005 and it should be 13,000 here as well because we are now doing the balancing off so the balancing off this one is bigger the credit side is bigger so what we need is to fill in fill in the blanks over here so in the debit side we only have 10,000 so it should be fill in something here to make it even so 13,500 so I take 13,000 minus 10,000 so we need to have another 3005 so this one the 3005 is you post it to your profit and loss so when you post to profit and loss accounts it is also uh, when you post in the profit and loss account with here it will be at the credit side of your statement of profit and loss when the statement of profit and loss account at the credit side this means that you have gain on disposal so i can put here that you have gain on disposal so you you make some money lah hmm? all right so i just do some okay mm -hmm. okay let's say we do the extract statement of profit and loss extract so in the statement of profit and loss extract so we put here as other income 
again on disposal so we put 3500 okay so when you have gain on disposal meaning that your profit for the for that year in 2020 will be increased if you have losses it will be put over here so again you need to do the journals and then you will know whether it will be a gain or loss so if you have a loss in the stream of profit and loss accounts you put under expenses and then when you put under expenses your expenses become higher and your profit will become lower so maybe we can see question two for for the understanding all right okay question two it's still the same like the previous question a machine costing 10,000 was purchased in 2018 the depreciation rate of 20% being applied at a straight line basis the machine was sold at a second hand value of 7,005 in 2020 determine the gain or loss on the disposal of the above asset and you have a note here ignore depreciation in the year of disposal Okay, just now in question number one, it says your full year depreciation is to be applied. So meaning that if you dispose in 2020, you still need to calculate the depreciation. It all depends on the management. So if, the, if your boss asks you to calculate full year depreciation, you just calculate. If your boss asks you, okay, no need to calculate the depreciation on the year of disposal, so you don't calculate. So Let's say we take the situation number two, that is ignore the depreciation in the year of disposal, meaning that when you have the disposal happening uh, in 2020, so in that 2020, you don't need to calculate. Okay, let's go to Excel. Okay, this one is the previous one. Okay, I'm going to save time. I just copy okay all right so 10,000 cost of a machine depreciation still 20% method straight line you purchase in 2018 sold in 2020 same this was the price 7,005 so here we ignore see ignore depreciation in the year of disposal so when you ignore the, dep the depreciation in the year of disposal, meaning that in 2018, you still need to calculate the depreciation. So we have calculated just now because we are using the same figure and the same uh, machine. So I just let it, let it here. Okay. So in 2018, cost is uh, 10,000. And then the depreciation is 20%. Because just now we're still using the straight line and then it's 2000 over here okay net uh, your net book value is 8000 2019 you still calculate your depreciation at 20% so your depreciation is still 2000 ringgit your accumulated now from last year plus this year now 4000 and your net book value is 6000 but when it says ignore the depreciation in the year of disposal so in 2020 you don't need to calculate your depreciation so i just delete this okay so there's no 2020 there's no depreciation in 2020 so now you have to depend on this netbook value in 2019 okay so same method applied when we dispose the machine so debit disposal 10,000 because the cost of the machine is 10,000 so when you want to zero rise the machine you have to zero rise or you have to make sure that the 
machine account is zero because there's no more machine there's no more machine because before this is 10,000 when you sell of course there will be nothing in your account after that okay, so debit disposal 10,000 credit machine 10,000 okay so you put machine because it's here debit disposal so you go to disposal debit so 10,000 and then credit accumulated depreciation okay since we only have two depreciation and the accumulated depreciation is only 4,000 so we put the 4,000 so 4,000 so when the accumulated is 4,000 so credit disposal here so it's 4,000 okay 4,000 all right so how much do you sell still 7,005 so debit bank 7,005 credit disposal 7,005 so credit disposal 7,005 okay now we have already made this a formula so from here you still have a gain huh? a gain in your disposal of 1500 see because your netbook value is actually 6000 because 10 minus 4 6000 6, and then you sell at 7,005. Of course, you gain 1,500. Okay, now let's change a bit for this question. Let's say we dispose the pra uh, the machine at... Um, Alright, how much do I want to sell? Okay, people want to buy very low at a low price. So, maybe we sell at 4,000. Okay, 4,000. That's it. Let us put at 4,000. Okay, if 4,000, you debit bank 4,000 because you receive money only 4,000 and credit disposal at 4,000. So, accumulated depreciation still stays 4,000. Bank, you only receive 4,000. Alright, okay, so this one should not be here because, okay, I, okay, so I delete this first. Okay, now between 10,000 over here, and this is 4 plus 4 is 8, so of course this one is bigger, the debit side is bigger, so I have to take the bigger figure to be put here and Okay, now this is balance so I need to do the balancing figure so of course I need to put something here because 4 times uh, 4 plus 4 is not equivalent to 10 so I have to put something here so I take 10,000 minus 4,000 minus 4,000 so the balance is 2,000 so this is my balancing figure so the balancing, the balancing figure is now at the credit side so I put here profit and loss. Where's end? Okay, loss. So this one just now, if over here is gain, now here is a loss. Okay. So in this case, when we put and when we do our statement of profit and loss accounts. Under the, the abstract, so it should not be on the other income section. It will be under expenses section. So we put here as loss on disposal of two thousand. So if this is if this is the case, so the company's profit will reduce because it has a loss on disposal okay i think that's it for now okay i hope you are clear on this anything drop me a line and or text me i will try to my best to answer you okay 
So thank you. See you. Assalamualaikum.